we're getting our customer experience definitions all mixed up. All right, think of the definition of a TV versus the definition of a good TV. Think of the definition of a car versus the definition of a good car. Think of the definition of marriage versus the definition of a good marriage. If I asked in the comment section to give the definition of food, I would wager that we would all get very similar answers. But then if I asked you for the definition of good food, our answers would all be really different because one is objective, the other is subjective. There is a dictionary definition for food. There isn't one for good food. Some people might say good food has no fat. Others might say it has no sugar. Some might say good food is organic. And some will say that good food is vegan. Some might say good food makes you feel full. Some might say good food makes you feel energized. Some people will say good food is fast. Others will say good food brings people together. Every single person would agree what food is, but we would all become divided on our definition of good food. And I'd like to say it's exactly the same in the customer experience world, but it's worse. We don't even agree on what a customer experience is. How can we start to define what a good customer experience is if we can't even agree on what a customer experience is? This is happening too often now. We'll go out there, we'll ask the question, what is the definition of a customer experience? And people say positive interactions between whatever or value created for something or other. Like, that's if an alien came to Earth and said, what is food? And we're like, organic, filling, tasty, sugar-free, gluten-free. Now, that might be the right answer, but it's just to the wrong question. The thing is, we can take this deeper, like what is the definition of a chef versus what is the definition of a good chef versus what is the purpose of a chef? And that's even more subjective. Same as the definition of a customer experience professional versus what is the definition of a good customer experience professional versus what is the purpose of a customer experience professional. Matt, we have got some learning to do. But let me know in the comments, has anyone cracked this with a real distinction between these definitions yet? I mean, maybe we can work on this together, but I think the unfortunate truth is that we'll never have one blanket definition for good customer experience because good customer experience isn't defined by us. It's defined by customers. So that means there are 7.53 billion different definitions of good customer experience. And although every single one of them is different, every single one of them is correct.